What do you think your biggest strength is? Uh, trying to maintain a positive attitude. So there's a lot of, there's, for me, I feel like it's, it's easy to choose the negative side of things. It's easy to look at a problem and whether it makes you sad, whether it makes you mad, whether it does some sort of negative feeling to you, I believe that it's always easy to go down that route. I think it's a lot harder to try to put a positive spin on it or try to look at a more um, optimistic outlook on things. Because I think for me, my biggest thing as a coach or as a teacher for you guys and for my students is basically to make sure that, you know, let me be the one that takes the, 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 the bad and then y'all only take the good. What do you think your biggest weakness is? Um, something biggest... You grow, something you can grow upon, something that you can help yourself get better at. So I would, I would think that my biggest weakness is taking on too much. Meaning, um, I'm kind of a yes person, really. So if anybody asks me, hey, can you do this, can you do that, I'll be like, oh yeah, I can do it. You're and a then yes man. all of a sudden, my, my list of stuff starts piling up. So... So we did take... What do you think your biggest opportunities that you had in life were? You, are there any you regret not taking? Are there any you do regret taking? So I think the easiest answer is saying that I don't regret choices that I've made. Um, I feel like um, everybody has a, a reason or a purpose for the things that they choose in life or for what they do. Um, but for me personally, I mean, I could definitely say that when the routes that I chose for colleges, the routes that I chose um, for path and career choices were definitely molded by other people. And what I mean by that is by influencers in my life. So my high school coach, um, he went to North Texas to run for them. He became a teacher and educator, things like that. That was kind of my, my reason for choosing those um, paths. So it technically wasn't that they weren't my own choices, but they were definitely modeled by somebody else. What were some of the biggest challenges that could have stopped you? And how did you overcome them? Like one or two before? So, um, so the year that I quit uh, running and I stepped off the track, uh, it was due to some team dynamics. There was a lot of stuff that was going on that I didn't really appreciate as far as like, you know, I, I was the type of athlete that, oh, if, if, the, if the curfew was nine o'clock to, you know, have lights out, that was, that's how I needed. So I was kind of a, a strict kind of by the book person, I would say. Uh, so, first question is Coach Reason. What is your favorite thing or characteristic about Coach Yeager? Uh, my favorite characteristic about Coach Yeager is how enthusiastic he is about his job. Uh, I can definitely tell he cares about the kids, he cares about doing a great job with his work, and he's a great coach. Okay, so have you learned, so from being with Coach Yeager from, uh, for a year, have you learned anything about him? Anything coaching or sports? Learned from him? Yeah. Um, for sure. I definitely learned uh, how to handle kids in a different way um, from Coach Yeager. You know, there's, being a coach, there's different ways to handle kids who might act up or uh, just different attitudes, and uh, he does a great job of dealing kid, with the kids in a different way, and just being able to see that from him is a great learning experience. Okay, and final question. What is your favorite story or moment that you've ever had with Coach Yeager? Uh, in school, outside school, any? Okay. Um, well, we really don't spend any time outside of school together, but um, just just being around him every day, it's, it's fun because he has such a positive attitude with everything. Um, so he's just a joy to be around every day and, you know, every moment with him is, is fun. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, so how did you guys become friends? Like By working together and building that relationship. Did it come slowly or like... No, it, it, it was an instant thing. Instant thing, instant bonding? Yes. Okay. What's your favorite thing or characteristic about Coach Baker? His energetic personality when it comes to teaching kids and coaching kids. And then finally... What is your favorite story or moment that you've ever had with Coach Could be a trip, a story. First time I saw him coaching long distance and actually running on the track, around the track, beating all his kids in long distance. That was a cool thing to see. That was a fun moment to watch. It was a fun moment to watch. Well, that's all the questions I have for you today. Thank you so much. Thanks, Arian.